Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's Maeve from Godux. I'm happy to introduce that our wireless LED control system, Godux Light App, has upgraded to a new version 3.0. When you need to manage complex projects or set up lights at fixed angles while it's inconvenient to adjust on board, you will find it so helpful to use Godux Light App to easily control the lights without having to touch or move them. And you don't need to adjust the parameters on board one by one. So today, here is a user guide for you. First, you need to create an account via phone number or email. Godox promised to protect the privacy of every user, so you don't have to worry about that. If you still feel bothered to create an account, that's okay. This app can also work well, but without the function to save and share data. We have designed a demo project to familiarize users with this app, even if you don't have Godox LED lights right at your hand. It's a virtual thing that allows you to simulate and quickly get familiar with the operation. Now I will show you how to connect the lights. By tapping the add button at the top right, you can create a new project. Tap the three dots on the right, you can rename or delete it, and tap to enter the project, then turn on the fixtures. If it's the first time connecting this light to this phone, you need to reset the Bluetooth on board and also make sure your phone's Bluetooth is on. And now, the other three lights have also been reset. Tap the A button to add fixtures, choose the lights we need, and confirm. Next time, you don't have to do this again to connect these lights to this phone. Just enter the project and it will connect automatically. Within the fixture menu, you can use Find the Light feature to quickly locate any light by flashing it like this. And you can rename it, disconnect it, or upgrade the firmware. And for some compatible lights like M600 Byte, you can use the app to set the fan mode like this. Low speed, high speed, or just turn off the fan. Now let's look at the group function. Tap the air button to create a new group and choose lights we want to control simultaneously and confirm. And you can tap here to fold or unfold the fixtures in group. Within a group, the parameters you can control will be decided by the simplest fixture among them. For example, if you group a daylight fixture SL100D and an RGBWW fixture LT75R together and you want to control them simultaneously, you can only adjust the functions they both have. Within the group menu, you can also use find light feature to quickly locate the lights. And you can rename, edit, or delete the group you will see a button like this. Very often, in Godox Light, it means quickly turning on or off the lights. By individual, by group, or by the whole project, with just one click. Let's look at the adjustment of intensity and CCT parameters. Tap the fixture ID or the group name to access the parameter adjustment. The interface varies depending on the specific functions of the lights. In the CCT mode, you can adjust the intensity, color temperature, green magenta shift, and dimming curves. You can adjust the brightness quickly by the intensity slider, like this, 
were precisely by the minus and plus buttons like this. For some compatible lights, you can choose from four dimming curves for different demands. For bicolor and RGB WW fixtures, you can adjust the color temperature by the slider or also by the buttons. And for some lights supporting GM adjustment, you can use the app to fine-tune the green magenta shift. Next is color adjustment. For RGB WW lights, Godox Light supports several professional modes to be chosen according to your habits. The first one is HSI mode. You can use the color wheel to pick the color you want, or if you prefer using numbers, you can tap the H or S box to enter the values you want to get the color. Here are eight frequently used boxes to help you quickly get the color. The second one is RGB mode. You can adjust the values of red, green, blue, and white. And the resulting color will be previewed in the slider box. The third one is XY mode. Godox Light provides Rec 709, DCI P3, and Rec 2020 three color gamuts. You can pick the color you want by tapping or just entering the XY values. Next one is color field mode. It includes two standard gels. You can sort the library by color series or by numbers. If you remember the number ID of the gel, you can use the search tool to quickly find it. Like this. The last one is color picker mode. It's an interesting tool with which you can easily pick color from your around. Align the dot with the object you want to pick color from and tap the capture button. Afterward, you can fine-tune the hue within minus or plus 10 degrees and the saturation minus or plus 10%. Now, let's talk about FX Effects Mode. The adjustment of FX Mode varies according to the built-in ability of different fixtures. Usually, RGB WW fixtures support more FX effects than bicolor fixtures, and the last is daylight fixtures, and we usually offer three stops for each effect. The pixel lights will support more extra unique effects. Take the TP2R for example, in addition to common effects, it supports three unique effects, RGB fade, RGB flow, and RGB chase. I will show you how to set up them. In RGB fade mode, you can set at least 2 and at most 10 color sections. As you can see, now we have 4 color sections here, and I will cut to 2 color sections. And you can see the change. And you can set the length of every section from 1 to 8 stops. Now you can see the color sections become very shorter and now they become much longer. Then you need to select the box to edit their color by HSI or CCT mode. You need to edit every box one by one. You can also adjust the speed as you like, like this. And also, you can adjust the direction. In this effect, you need to set a background color, also by HSI or by CCT. It means the whole background color of the light. I will show you how it works.
Now we set the color lens to be very short so you can clearly see some parts of the tube don't show any color because now the background color is set to be black which means without any color. When I set a white background you can see the color sections are running on it so that's what the background color means. Next is RGB flow effect. The operation is much similar to the last one. The difference is that you can set at most 16 sections for this effect. Another effect is the RGB chase effect. The adjustment is also similar to the other two with at most 16 color sections and it provides three optional modes. It's gradient and flash and still lens. When you are logged in, tap the button on the top right you can save all the data in the current scene by adding it to favorites. Open favorites, you can see all the data saved before and you can choose to apply, share or delete it. Whenever you need it, you can quickly restore the whole setting. Another way to store and share data is by QR code. Tap here to share and it will give a QR picture of the current scene. It supports free data sharing between different mobile devices and accounts. To import data, reopen the favorites, tap the scan button, and scan the QR code from another device or album. This function really helps to save you a lot of time for fast-paced work and enables a seamless workflow within a team. Alright, Godox Lite version 3.0 is already available on Apple Store, Google Play, and other app markets now. You can download it or update the old version to the latest version. Hope this video can help you. See you next time. Bye-bye.